I love I love that mallet. <laughs> Keep that up, you won't have it long. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the City Council meeting of the City of Lenore for Tuesday, March 16th, 2021. We welcome you here this evening. Glad you're able to uh, join us for the meeting. Uh, virtually, most most everybody. We do have several of our council members and staff here with us tonight in the council chambers, but we welcome you. This evening, before we get started with our moment of silence and pledge of allegiance, would like to go ahead and call a roll for the evening so we'll know who is with us and who is on our Zoom uh, meeting as well. So we'll start with the members here in the room, and I'll start with our council members. Uh, Jonathan Beal is here. Council member Ike Perkins is here. Council member Ralph Presswood is here. Council member Ben Willis is here. Council member David Stevens are, is here. Myself, Mayor, is here. City Manager Scott Hildebrand is with us. And our Communications Director Joshua Harris is with us. That's who is in the room. Now, uh, we'll call on the uh, Zoom call. Our Mayor Pro Tem, Chrissy Thomas. I'm here. Thank you. Council Member Todd Perdue. Not sure, Todd is out of town, so I'm not sure exactly uh, if he was going to join us tonight. Our City Attorney, TJ Rohr. I'm here, thank you. Yes, sir. City Clerk, Shirley Cannon. She's here. She's All right. Our Finance Director, Donna Bean. Here. Thank you. Fire Chief, Ken Hare. Here. Economic Development and Main Street Director, Kaylin Horn. Here. Our Police Chief, Brent Phelps. Here. Parks and Recreation Director, Kenny Story. I'm here. Public Utilities Director, Radford Thomas. Here. Yes, sir. Our planning director, Jenny Wheelock. I'm here. And our public works director, Jared Wright. I'm here. And we would welcome tonight from the news topic, uh, Carmen Boone, I think is with us tonight, covering. She's waving. Yeah. Nice to see you, Carmen. Thank you for, for being with us. Welcome to uh, the news topic. We're glad to have you with us. Okay, we will then go ahead uh, as we go to our time of uh, a moment of silence and time of prayer. We'll uh, like for you to keep in your thoughts and prayers our own Lester Whittington, uh, our, of course, our Parks and Recreation. Uh, Lester, uh, our brother, passed away uh, over this last week or so, and we would like to keep uh, Lester and all his family in our thoughts and prayers as they continue to, uh, to go through this time of uh, sadness in their lives and the loss of their younger brother. So uh, we'll keep thinking of Lester and hope that everything will be uh, uh, get better as the days to come. So keep, please keep him in your mind and your thoughts and prayers as we move forward and continue to pray for our, our community, our uh, uh, hospital, and all our staff and workers that are doing so many great things uh, to help and make recoveries for our, our COVID as things continue to move forward, all those frontline people who are involved uh, thanks goodness things seem to be moving in the right direction. We want to continue that so please continue to be safe But continue in your thoughts and prayers all of those people and their fa families for all they're doing Our vaccine clinics and things to keep moving forward So I ask you to think about them and keep them in your prayers. Please join us now for our time of prayer time of med meditation and our Pledge of Allegiance Thank you. We salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. As we get started tonight, uh, we do not have any matter scheduled for public hearing, but before we go to our next uh, agenda item, I would like to uh, mention we were uh, last week was the North Carolina Main Street Conference. 
which was held virtually this year, but it was uh, quite a, a nice uh, event was held, and we were very honored to have uh, a couple of, of winners here in the city of Lenore. We would salute uh, Mr. David Maurer and uh, his building over on uh, uh, Harper. Harper Avenue at the corner of Harper and Church, won an award and the Main Street Awards. So we thank him and, of course, the Brakefield family who owned the building and, and uh, sold it to, uh, to Mr. Maurer for his uh, work there. And it has a nice, very nice apartment, condo in it, and a barbershop in there now. So we really appreciate uh, David's work on that, he and his wife on the work on that building and, and for uh, being uh, partners with us in the city of Lenore. So congratulations to him and to uh, our own Jesse Plaster who was our Main Street champion, received that award also at the Main Street Conference last week. And uh, Jesse's got a lot of a lot of things going and he owns several buildings in our community and is in the work doing a lot of uh, different things uh, moving forward. And we appreciate all the work that Jesse has done to become, uh, he is truly a Main Street champion and a great partner with our city. So if you see them, uh, tell them congratulations and uh, we are very proud and honored to uh, be able to work with them. So, thank you. We'll move on then to uh, consent agenda items uh, consisting tonight of minutes of our city council meeting of Tuesday, March 2nd, 2021. Our minutes uh, of the uh, city council budget retreat uh, held on Tuesday, Mar February 23rd and on Thursday, February 25th as submitted. And item C is a renewal for the sidewalk cafe permit. This is for uh, to uh, renew the sidewalk uh, permit for side street poorhouse grill uh, cafe permit and conditions as submitted. So those are your consent agenda items open for any questions or discussion and or motion when you're ready. Mr. Yes. Mayor, I make a, a motion we approve the consent agenda items as presented. We have a motion from Councilmember Willis to <coughs> approve the consent agenda items A, B, and C as permitted. If there's no other questions from anyone, I'll call for the question. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And virtually. Aye. Thank you. And that stands unanimous tonight with the six members of the council. Thank you very much. We'll move on then to uh, any requests and petitions of any citizens. We do not have any with us tonight. So if there's anyone on our virtual uh, Zoom that would like to uh, uh, say anything with the council, you're welcome to do so at this time. And hearing none, we'll move on. We do not have reports of our boards and commissions this evening, so we'll move on to the report and recommendations of the city manager, Mr. Hildebrand. Mr. Mayor, um, only a couple items tonight for information. The first, the planning board will meet virtually on Monday, March 22nd, beginning at 5.30 p.m. Uh, the Committee of the Whole will meet virtually on Tuesday, March 23rd, 8.30 a.m., and that will be our budget session to kind of wrap up with the numbers. Uh, the Foothills Regional Airport Authority will meet virtually on Wednesday, March 24th at noon. Uh, also, I'd note that the Easter holiday, uh, Friday, April 2nd, will be a, a holiday for City Hall, so I just want to let you know that. And lastly, the City, um, via coordination with Public Works Director Jared Wright, is scheduling a litter cleanup sweep, a uh, part of the state, um, effort and uh, Jared do you want to mention that and the dates and times on that sure um, uh, of course NTDOT does a litter sweep campaign every year in April it's usually the two middle weeks in April and they have that scheduled this year from April 10th through April 24th uh, that's also when we typically do our employee driven litter collection event um, so I have been contacted by various stakeholders in the county, including the school system, to facilitate a litter pickup event involving their employees as well. We're working on the details, but it looks like it's going to be um, much larger than just City of Lenore, so we're excited to participate. Thank you. What were the dates of that again? Just so everybody can... April 10th through 17th, I think, is our efforts. Is that correct, Jared? 10th, well, I, th I think the city is focused on one week, but we got, I think the 14th may be the day the city of Lenore staff goes out and picks up as well. Is that right? Mr. Harris, is that what you Yeah, had? the actual litter sweep is the 10th through the 24th, which I think somebody said. Okay. Right. Yeah. And then I think we're doing the 14th tentatively. Correct. Okay. Thank you, and thank you for your work on that. I know that that's been a uh, issue in, in not only our community, but around the, 
the state in writing to Charlotte yesterday a meeting I was unbelievable the amount of litter and trash that seems to be on our highways uh, even right down 321 it was just amazing to me and uh, we make comments about it yesterday so I hope that uh, we can continue to do great things like this litter sweep and move forward with that to uh, to try to make everyone aware that uh, you know that's not the place to throw your your litter and garbage out into uh, these remote areas, but to take them to the proper facilities uh, that we have. So well, thanks for that. Mayor, unfortunately, it's not just the remote areas; it's it's yeah. all over the place. I, it, you're right. Uh, yeah. My wife and I were walking the other day down a street in in the city of Lenore, and it was just hard. she said, "I wish I had a bag." I know. Um, and question if any organization wants to help us with that are we are we able to give them any supplies to do that yes jared do you want to mention that with dot i'm trying to unmute here um, <laughs> dot is really good about providing materials to uh, civic organizations that want to participate in litter sweep now with an effort as large as we may be looking at for, uh, for the school system. They need numbers of volunteers to adequately prepare. Uh, but any volunteer organization that wants to coordinate directly with DOT for gloves and bags and potentially vests, they're encouraged to do that. And you can contact the Hudson District Office. Okay. Yes, sir. Mr. Harris. And any private individuals that want to pick up litter can contact the NCDOT, and oftentimes they'll help them out with supplies too. Okay. And you can adopt the highway and adopt the street. And yeah. I think I think more than anything, we need to just bring awareness to this that we we if, if it's not going to be done by somebody else, it's time to step up and do it ourselves. I agree. Right. So I, I think we just need to maybe. I mean, all of us, if we can, I, I hope, hopefully I can participate that day, but we might just need to start being a little bit more proactive rather than waiting on somebody else to do it. I think we we made contact with the other cities in the county as well as the county about the, the effort, so. Yeah. And I think and the Chamber of Commerce is going to promote it as well from what yeah. uh, Brian Moore was saying. And maybe some of these uh, clubs, the Rotary Impact yeah, might absolutely. be a place to, we'll get some friends. to look at that and, and make it fun. scouts and others that are looking for things that they could do to help. This is These are times that we really could use that that helped uh, yeah go, we have go. made we have made appeals to our legislators to look yeah. into what we need to be what needs to be happening uh to help address this problem at several different lots, times now so lots of times it seems that i mean oftentimes if somebody lives on the property they'll they'll keep it cleaned up but where you have the stretches of road where there aren't houses that's where it tends to get nearby that's where it tends to get the worst it seems to me do we have a telephone number for the Department of Transportation in Hudson. We can get that. Um, <laughs> we'll put a release out in the newspaper the next day or two. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your efforts on this, and uh, we'll continue to uh, to push this. It, I think it needs really needs to become an item that we all are behind and yeah. and pushing forward. So, thank you for and the litter sweep will be great. We know. Yeah. So. Anything else, uh, Mr. Hildebrand? Come before us, okay. I have one other question about. Yes, sir. Um, I noticed as I was walking at the Greenway last week, there was a large item in the in the creek that obviously came down from one of the storms that we had had. Is there any way to remove those type things? I've, one looked like a tractor tire, and uh, one was uh, actually a, a an old uh, water heater. Ooh. That'll damn the creek. <laughs> uh, we'll yes, look sir. In, we'll look into it. Yeah, that's the best way. Just uh, let our folks. I've seen volunteer groups do that kind of thing too. Yeah, because it'll take a tractor or something to pull it out. Creek sweeps. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. That. Get thank that information you. to Mr. Hildebrand, and we can look into that. So. Okay. Thank you for that, uh, Council. Anything else that while we're on this particular area that we need to look into talk about uh, on those okay Mr. thank Mayor, you yes i will say a uh, comment on mr stevens uh we did remove my crew uh ground crew removed two tractor tires out close to the uh um aquatic center there at penal uh powell road 
uh, and the yeah. aquatic center at the creek uh, last Friday. So uh, that we was find one debris of them. Um, along the creek banks, and we try to get out as much as we can when we can. So uh, we try to stay on the lookout for it, especially around the Greenway. But we did remove two big tractor tires last Friday. So uh, it is a mess, and the debris floats up and down the, the creeks there. So uh, at least we got a couple things out of there that was looking bad. Thank you for that, Mr. Story. I think you addressed one of Mr. Stevens' <laughs> tires already, so that's, that's a good exactly thing. That's exactly right. So thank you. Appreciate that. So, thank you. Okay, anything else, comments according to that? If not, all right. We'll move on then. Uh, we have any reports and recommendations of our city attorney, Mr. Rohr? Nothing to report. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, and moving down, I do have a, a couple of uh, – individuals to for reappointment to our uh, board of adjustments uh mr james bradshaw to continue serving on our board of adjustments for another term and mr tim scoby i will make uh, uh these were both announced at our march 2nd meeting we actually had a, a third one uh mr mac martin was also listed but mr martin has decided not to uh, continue. He, he will stay on the planning board and serve. He still has term there, but he will not serve uh, con on the board of adjustments at this time. Uh, was the other one that we had mentioned at our March second meeting. I have talked with uh, Ms. Wheelock, our planning director, about that, and, and they will be working. As you know, the planning board uh, serves also as the board of adjustments. So they they will uh, look within that and uh, talk to other individuals inside the planning board about making sure we have the uh, Board of Adjustments covered there. Uh, so I would recommend these two uh, to you for uh, an additional uh, terms as on the Board of Adjustments. I'll make that as a, a recommendation for your approval. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion that we approve your recommended uh, appointments. Okay, thank you. I have a motion from Mr. Presswood. Uh, that we uh, approve Mr. Bradshaw and Mr. Scobie uh, continuing to serve on the Board of Adjustments, and we appreciate their work on that. So I'll ask for the question. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And on virtual? Aye. Thank you. And that is approved unanimously. Also, I have a couple other Board of Announcements to make that will be coming up uh, later May at our April 6th meeting. We'll present them tonight. Uh, both of they are also on our Board of Adjustments as well and are serving. And I uh, would mention to you that Jeff Church, Jeff is serving now as an alternate. I think in talking with Ms. Wheelock, we'll probably consider him to become, uh, move up to the board. They also, have, they keep certain members for the board and then they have a couple alternates in case they do, but we could consider him to be moved up and we'll talk to him about that. And Ms. Leah Hamilton, who also serves uh, on the Board of Adjustments to be uh, reconsidered for reappointment to those and we'll be discussing it with them between now and our next and our April 6th meeting about them continuing. So we'll just present those to you tonight for your uh, consideration for the next few weeks. Okay, uh, anything else to come be before us? Uh, City Council members, you have anything else that I do, anyone? Mr. Yes, sir. I'd like to, uh, at Mount Pierven, we put together a program that we call Straight Talk. And what we do there, we, or I do, interview different uh, citizens of Lenore, Caldwell County. Uh, and this is aired every Thursday at seven o'clock. And it is uh, Mount Pilgrim Lenore, NC, every Thursday at seven o'clock. I uh, hope that you have been following us. Last week, we had the CEO and president of a uh, hospital Ms. Laura Easton. And I'm honored, I'm glad to report on Thursday night, we will interview our honorable mayor, Mayor Joseph Gibbons. <laughs> so I would like to encourage you to please join in with us every Thursday at seven o'clock. And who knows, you may be the next one that I interview. <laughs> so please join in with us there at seven o'clock for Straight Talk. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Perkins. We appreciate that. and. Uh, uh, you, you, thank you for what you're doing with that. It is a, a great show. I know you, you've done several things with the uh, hospital with Dr. Uh, Lowry, Lowry. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and uh, Laura, also with Laura Easton as well, mm -hmm. talking about what we've been going through in our pandemic and 
and, and our we did we discussed that as well and different things that the city was doing so it's been a good thing and uh, i hope that if you have a chance to go on the show uh, please do uh and talk about our community and you know a lot of good things are coming out of that relations uh and how we're working together in our community so i think it's a it's a good program we appreciate that mount pilgrim is doing that and letting our community know what, what's going on so thank you very much for that any other council members uh have anything mr willis anything from nope. the state that you know of and things going on we know there's a lot a nope. lot happening uh, a lot of bills that are out there and we're following those and looking as to how our our state is progressing and continuing to watch our leadership as they uh as they lead us through this trying time uh continuing uh you know working toward getting our schools back in i think that's uh very uh, uh exciting uh we're seeing a lot of things across the state happening our school system's already been doing that and trying to and working through that very well we're proud of our school system here and what they're doing but i know there's a lot that still needs to be done and the rest of the state is now trying to uh to to get back into the swing of things and still be protected as they go which is i know a tough balancing act to to have there but uh, things are, are moving in the right direction I mean, when we appreciate that so anyway unless there's something else that needs to come before us and i will ask them one more time if anybody has anything anybody on our, our virtual uh zoom any of our um, uh, department heads anything you'd like to report tonight bring up not hearing anyone, so I think we're okay. All right. There's nothing else to come before us. We stand adjourned.